I have two questions for you. Is your smartphone making you money or is it costing you money? Are you using Instagram, YouTube, or is Instagram and YouTube using you? Is your smartphone making you money? You know, I didn't upgrade my smartphone to the latest Apple one, and it's not even the latest one for like a couple of years, okay? Now I got this new one, it's got the 1080 camera on it or whatever, it's awesome. But I use this thing to connect with my fans, with lives all the time, posting pictures, um, promoting stuff, shooting these videos for you every day. I am beating up this phone. You know, I use the Bluetooth to airdrop files, pictures. I airdrop stuff from my computer all the time, new covers, uh, new lyric videos, all kinds of stuff from my computer to my phone so I can post stuff. And I've just been beating this thing up and using this tool that Steve Jobs made so that I could impact and get my music out there, get my message out there. And I really wanna challenge you, are you really using it for that? Are you using it as a consumer instead of a creator? Are you just watching movies? Are you just watching shows and wasting time, taking selfies and whatever, but not really using it to grow your, your music career, get a message out there, make a difference, right? I really wanna challenge you on that. And I get it that it's hard and that's why sometimes you gotta be extra disciplined or even delete apps sometimes. Post for, from your computer if you have to, because like even yesterday, I was going to post something, right? And I needed to go to my photos. But just because of um, bad habits, I op opened up Instagram and I was like, scroll like something caught my eye and this is why I need to unfollow everyone as much as possible so I'm not a consumer. Because I, all of a sudden, I, and then I closed it, I was like, well, why the heck did I even pick up my phone in the first place? You know, I, I forgot because I got distracted. I got, you know, my attention got pulled. I was like, oh yeah, I was going on here to do this photo thing so I could promote my music. And so I really want to challenge you, man. Put your phone in the other room. That's what I'm starting to do. I'm putting it in the other room so that when I even do take a break, when I'm working on something and I need to pause, I'm not reaching for my phone. If I gotta go, I wanna pick up my phone, it's in the other room. It's charging on a docking station and I'll use it. Now this is of course, unless I'm posting and doing a bunch of stuff or whatever, right? But like for, for scheduling my posts, I don't do that on my phone. I do that using the, the Meta Business Suite, the new Creator Studio Business Suite. That's where I do all that stuff is on my desktop. So I can schedule it all out and guess what? That way I'm picking up this thing only when I really, really need to and then that way I'm not distracted. Because they say it takes at least 15 minutes to get undistracted to figure out what it is you were working on again. And so I really want you to use this tool. It's an amazing device. Not only do I use it for videos and stuff, I use it for recording all my demos and all my ideas. I use that sound recorder, man. I've got hundreds of sound bites and ideas and stuff like that that are on that thing. And I, and I use it and it's great. And I send those to producers and we send things back. And it's just like a miracle device but it's a dream stealer and killer if you're using it as a consumer. Not only because it's wasting your time, but number two, you're comparing yourself to other people. You're looking at other people's lives, wishing you were them, wishing you were there, and now that's discouraging you. And now you're going on down this you know, self-doubt, oh, woe is me, and, and poor little me, and it's, it's really hurting your dreams. And it's stopping you from pursuing your greatness. So I'm gonna add, and let me know in the comments below, are you a creator or are you a consumer? Are you gonna use this device to make songs, make videos, behind the scenes stuff? You in the studio, you creating? And this is the, the problem, and, and, and I'm, I'm over this now, I don't even care. Uh, I learned this from Cardone, like, I don't want to be liked, I want to be known, all right? And, and you're saying, yeah, I wanna be known, but I don't wanna create content until I'm known. I don't wanna show behind the scenes until I'm known. I don't wanna film a video on the car until there's gonna be thousands and thousands of views. And so you wait, you delay, and you put off because you're not willing to be bad enough at something long enough until you get good at it. I'm gonna say that again. You're not willing to be bad at something long enough until you get good at it. You're not willing to have zero followers until you have 100. You're not willing to you know, appreciate the 100 followers until you get 1,000 and then 10,000, and then 100,000, right? Everyone starts at zero subscribers, and it's like you're afraid that people aren't gonna appreciate you at the small beginnings. But that's your opportunity to grow. That's your opportunity to serve and respond to all those comments. I know dudes that have 
less followers than me, but they have way more engagement. So like, what do you want more of? Do you want more engagement or do you just want the look that you ha have more? It's not about that. But if you want to grow to that bigger size, you've got to beat this thing up. I was watching a video um, about Grant Cardone. He's one of my mentors. And he was saying to one of his students that, look, dude, you've got one post today. I've got six posts. I'm killing it. You're, you're, only, you're only putting like a quarter of the effort in, bro. You got to step it up. And so, and I need to step it up. And how are you going to do that? You're going to have to delegate, man. You're going to have to delegate. You know, if your dream does not require a team, you are not thinking big enough. If your dream does not require a team, you are not thinking big enough, my friend. You, you, you shouldn't even be doing all the posting. Eventually, you want to have a social media manager, but you've got to lead it. You've got to be the, the, the wolf pack leader. All right. You're the one who's got to spark that off and get that going and beat that beast up. And I, I, can, I can guarantee you, I can guarantee you that you're not hitting it as hard as you could. You could be posting more, but you're like, oh, I don't want to bother people. People are going to get annoyed. No, they're not going to get annoyed. They're going to be like, man, that dude's freaking killing it. And, and you're going to shine light on your critics and on your haters, right? Oh, Yo, you post too much. No, I'm just shining light on your cowardiceness because you got nothing to say and you're not committed to your dreams. You know, there's one guy that was saying to me, um, oh, you email too much. And I was like, dude, that's that's not even nearly as much. I should email twice a day, not just once a day. Because he doesn't understand that you got to put that 10x effort. It takes a lot of effort to move something to make noise. I'm not in competition with you musically. I'm not. I'm in competition with these whack politicians and Omnicrom and fake virus and all this other junk that gets you know, paraded on the newspaper. You know, I, I'm in competition with that. We got to break through the noise. Most artist guys are lazy and they don't even post a quarter as much. You know, not even a tenth as much as they should. Including me. I need to step it up too. And that's my goal this year is I am stepping it up. And I want to know if you are going to join me in creating more content, creating more music. And let me just say this because I was coaching students in my fan base university program the other day. And, and, and God bless them, you know, and I was here too. But sometimes people can mistake in uh, quantity over quality, all right? You need, especially when it comes to music, like it's got to be hot. It's got to be mixed. It should be a good song. It should be mastered, you know. And I understand we're all growing, but like hire a producer to produce your vocals, my friend. Make it sound amazing. Pull that greatness out of you. Like I've been recording songs for like 20 years, right? And only recently do I produce my own vocals now. And what that means is, is I can record my vocals by myself without having someone to say, hey, give me more of this or give me that or, or phrase it like this. Like I can hear the different things in the different parts of the songs and notes and the octaves and all that stuff. And I, I prefer, I much rather prefer to have a studio engineer to coach me on that and give me all the different, because different, uh, you know, uh, asking me for the different things that they need for the song because, you know, I'm doing both. I'm like tracking my own self. Like, but sometimes I will now because I can and uh, couldn't always travel. But, you know, f for a lot of you, like I've heard these songs and stuff like that and they just need, you need more coaching. You need more vocal coaching and, and, and feedback and stuff. And so this is something that um, students were playing me. They're playing me their songs in Fan Base University. I critique songs. I critique your ads. I critique all kinds of stuff. I answer your questions directly. And if you want to work with me, go to fanbaseuniversity.com. Um, I'm not cheap, okay? I'm not cheap. I've paid, you know, I've invested hundreds of thousands, probably over a million dollars in, in growing my music career now. And, you know, when you're ready, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm boutique, man. I'm, I'm high value because I've been there. And, you know, I got 900,000 monthly listeners. We're going to pass a million, you know, and I don't say that egotistical, but if you want to play in, a, in the, the big arena and you want to be around people that are on that level, well, then you want to shortcut your success. Well, then hire someone, be with them. And whether you hire me or not, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm here to provide value and help you pick up an ebook, pick up fighter, pick up music marketing guide, pick up Spotify profits. I got tons of ebooks and audiobooks on uh, Audible and Amazon to help you out. But if you want that direct coaching, join Fanbase University or, or book a coaching call. I think it's smartmusicbusiness.com forward slash coaching. You can book a 30 minute or 60 minute session with me and, uh, and let's figure out some stuff. You know, let, let, let me help you out and mentor you and give you the feedback and get you moving in the right direction. 
Because, man, trust me, I know what it's like to just get that outside perspective. And it's amazing, you know, because I've had it happen to me when someone points out stuff. It's like, dang, dude, I didn't see that. I, and I'm like, I know. It's because you're so close to your art. You're so close to your business um, that you didn't see it. Uh, happens to me and then people when I give them feedback they're like dang dude I, I didn't even see that and uh, they're like thank you man and it just saves them thousands of dollars saves them you know years of, of wasted time and so that's why you do something like that so anyways go to smartmusicbusiness.com forward slash coaching if you need help with that or just go to Amazon and look up Chris Greenwood music business books and different stuff and you'll, you'll, you'll find me there too but keep going for your dreams yo